Today, I'm gonna to show you the best barbecue spots in Bondi. <laughs> and hang around to the end to see what secret I discovered here. Take me back to the meat pies, chicken fries, everything's gonna get out by the summertime. Barbie in the summertime, that is where I'll be. G'day, it's Jesse here from meetinapark.com.au. We're here today at Bondi Beach, ready to review another public barbecue. As you can see, we've got barbecues right in front of the beach, which is great if you've got kids here right next to the playground. Big park for all your activities. But I'll show you a little spot that I prefer. It's right up here at North Bondi. You'll get great views up at North Bondi. The only downside is that it's a little bit away from everything. Now it needs to be stressed that dogs are only allowed on the lead on the boardwalk, not actually in any of the parks around Bondi, like some owners seem to ignore. But the real villain here is parking. I mean, it's harder to find a spot for your car than it is for a seagull to find your lunch. What do you have to say about that seagull? Well, I'm not a seagull, but I feel like I speak for all birds when I say, why don't you like and subscribe? But at least there's public transport options available. And if you choose to pedal down, you can safely lock up using the bike racks. The paths and the barbecues are lit up for those nighttime cook-ups. There's also plenty of bins located around the walkways and the barbecues. But if they're all full, then fear not. You can get the friendly neighbourhood dog to hold your stuff. Both of the barbecue areas have seated shading, but the Bondi Park area is definitely larger and also includes a grass area for activities. In fact, let's bring the prickload meter out and test the lushness of this grass. Yeah, not bad. You'll find a set of toilet and shower blocks near the Bondi Park playground. There's also quite a fancy one over in the pavilion. Ah, the pavilion. A place for all kinds of activities, which there's no shortage of at Bondi. Swimming is one of the most popular activities here, so make sure you're aware of the dangers, including the occasional shark, rip currents, blue bottle jellyfish. But as long as you're in the flags, you'll be right. Up at the North Bondi Children's Pool offers a safe alternative for the kids to swim to. There's also a gym to turn that steak of yours into a six pack. And if you brought your skateboard in, then you'll have fun at the Bondi Skate Park. Much more fun than bringing your own car down and struggling to find a spot. But Bondi isn't just a beach, it's a foodie heaven. With so many cafes and restaurants around, you just can't help but drool. Now let's venture into the not so sunny side of Bondi. Unfortunately, our dear friend Sarah discovered that the beach can get quite crowded, especially during peak seasons. Well, it's definitely not ideal. So if you're planning to build an elaborate sandcastle, be prepared for some friendly competition. Well, that's enough of that, let's get cooking. Yeah, don't worry, it's cooking, it'll be ready soon. <laughs> See, Jerry's a volunteer lifeguard. He gets a bit peckish doing life-saving work. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. We give these barbecues a snagger rating of... 9 out of 10. Now, you're probably wondering, what's that secret at Bondi? Well, Jerry the Draft showed us a hidden painting created by Banksy, which he made after he saved his stencils from a riptide. If you see it, take a selfie and tag me in a park. Mmm, hope you enjoyed today's public barbecue review. If you have any barbie cool questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And as always, we'll see you at the next hot plate. <laughs>